All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more Daniel commentary. So we have Slate today. Yeah, um, Daniel Cook's experience is five thousand one hundred two. That's why he was so high on the the chart thing. All like right. that's why the stool is so high is because of with his, his experience. With his pseudo five. Is what? You, you don't know the comedian? I nope, no, I no clue. Oh, Daniel Cook. I, I don't think he's that funny though. And then we have Dyson Sphere two two eight eight. That's a pretty that low. That card is bad. Oh shit, Sylvans. I want to see and this. And Teller Knights. This is nice. We got some rogue here. <laughs> is Teller Knight really rogue? Uh yeah. I mean I don't know. There's like one that top that the ARG. Actually, yeah, the ARG, Stellar Knight was first in Swiss, but he got, um, he only, he lost in top 16 or No. Oh, like the fucking dual packs? I hate huh? that shit. I'm not sure what you mean. Yeah. Come on, man, Vanny's is still at three, and it should be at three forever. Vanity's is balanced. Vanity's is good. Vanity's is fine. No! There's nothing wrong with it. We just abused it. What are you talking about? When we did our daily duel. And I didn't know. Still just bad. We still lost, though. <laughs> we did all that with Vanity's. We activated two of them, and we still lost. We ran out of resources <laughs> compared to the fucking. That's what the vanity is supposed to make up for. It's supposed to make up for a lack of resources. No, it doesn't. It's supposed to slow the fucking duel down to a snail's pace. No, a generic fucking special negate, special summon negator is not healthy. You should use individual cards that stop individual special summons. That's why you don't have an answer for everything. It's stupid. It's too broad of a card. If you want to stop Inherent Summons, you got Black Horn of Heaven. If you want to stop Fusion Summons, you got Non-Fusion Area. There's things for this. Hmm. And what do you think about the whole argument about uh, our format is so fast that Vanities is the only appropriate counter? No. Why? Obviously no. Why? Because I, I just explained why I think it's no. It's too, it's too broad. It's too broad. Okay. So you think that the counter to the fast format should not be all encompassing, but there should be like many little counters? Yes. I don't think that you should be able to just slap three vanities in your deck and be like, ah, ha, 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 I got the answer to everything. Like, no, no. Do you think warning could go to two? No. Do you think warning should go to two? No. I was thinking about it. I think if warning went to two, that I think it would make a meta impact, but I don't think everybody would play two warning. Like, I don't think that's how it would work. Yeah. Um, I think warning. Are you on crack? Well, Are you on crack? If warning went to two, people would play warning. Definitely. They, not, no, they would not. All right, tell me what you wouldn't warning. What deck would you would you wouldn't warning? Uh, what deck would I not want to play warning in? Yeah. What are you doing against? What particular deck? What would you what not? What do you mean warning? against? What do you mean against? Because clearly, it's good, at, you, you, it's you, good you, against. Listen, Daniel, Daniel. It's not. It's not a matter of what it's bad against. All right. It's what it's bad in. You wouldn't play Warning in Shadal, then you wouldn't play Warning in Cleaver. You just you just wouldn't do it. I, uh, the but BA you wouldn't, play, you wouldn't play Warning in Shadal's, I'll give you that, but you'll you'll play Warning in Cleaver. They play Warning in Cleaver. Um It's the whole life point thing, I don't know. Shit, uh, Shit uh, when fuck no. Funny. When Warning can stop the entire pendulum summoning, no. 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 Nothing against Cleaver. I'm saying I'm, just say, I'm, I'm saying why you would run it. Okay. Like no, warning. Warning should be at one. Fanny should yeah, be at one. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Warning should be at one. Um, you know, I think I, I just I, I, I give up on Konami. No, one. Vanities could go to two. One. I think it's fine at three. One. <sighs> uh, it would be cool if they banned it though. That'd be pretty cool. I don't know. What do you think about oppression? We've talked about this before. But... No. It's just as bad. Just as bad? Just as bad. Like, just, it's the same card, basically? It's the same card. It's the exact same card. 
It's I don't think Vanity D's is broken because it doesn't have the cost or, you know, you can get rid of it whenever or you can use it. I think it's broken because it's too broad. The, yeah, the, uh, the thing about oppression is that it does have a life point cost, so at some point you won't be able to negate things anymore. But by then, especially how fast this game is, by then it's already too late. Yeah, oh yeah, it's it's sort, it's sort of like, uh... Because, sure, you're gonna run out of life points, be you know, because eventually you're just gonna run out of life points, sure, but you're gonna run out of resources first. Well... Because you're pretty much, so you're pretty much saying that, hey, if I keep on throwing cards at him to try to special summon, and he kills him negating, eventually he's gonna run out of life points, but you're gonna run out of resources. Mm -hmm. You know? It's like, it's like dealing with Light and Darkness Dragon, where sure, Light and Darkness Dragon slowly gets weaker and weaker until you can run him over, and but you're eventually running out of resources. I just want to point out that I was gonna make that analogy when you interrupt. Unless you got like Treeborn Frog or High Priestess of Prophecy, then that's just yeah. funny. <laughs> Derping that guy out. I haven't really been paying attention to the Sylvan player. All I know is that the Skeleton Knight player summoned Deneb. <laughs> what did the Sylvan player do? I don't know. Literally, there's been vanities on the field the entire duel, and it slowed down the duel to a fucking snail's pace. So I haven't been paying attention. It's wow, the, the Sylvan guy only has three broad. cards. Yeah, the, Sil the Sylvan guy only has three cards. He's, yep. he's dumb. Jeez. What? Yeah. What do you need? Do I have five dollars in my wallet? Oh, check. Make it um, traverse. <laughs> yeah. To bounce it. To bounce all those back row. He won't. But no, he won't. You know, I'm making these fat stacks off of YouTube, so you know I got all the guap. <laughs> what sentence was that? <laughs> I should I should quote that and like tattoo it to my forehead. Oh my god. <laughs> you know I'm getting all these fat stacks from YouTube. <laughs> like wow. shit. PewDiePie got nothing on me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he made a Trevor! Why? <laughs> he made a Trevor. Yeah, look, like, look at the guys in the cop. Uh-oh, lol. That there was literally no fun. reason to do that. No, I would have went into Delteros. What, I guess Trip is so fucking good. Uh, you gonna put that shit back? It's, it's okay. It's a good card, I guess. Um. Yeah, I was about to say, you gonna put that back too? You're not gonna use trip effect? I guess you do it in main phase two? Phase two? Yeah. Yeah. That's Using still battle, battle phase. phase. Damn, oh shit, in battle phase. Hitting the Mount Sylvania. I don't like that card. <laughs> I don't like that card at all. I don't know. I've I haven't been around Sylvans in a while. When the deck was first announced, well, what were they called? When the deck was first announced, what were they called? Um. I don't whatever. Remember. I don't remember what they were first called. I should remember. But when they when they first you know were announced, I played a little bit of Sylvans. What were they called before Sylvans? I should know this. I really should. Ooh, ooh, I, I just came to it. Ooh, uh. Damn it, I'm looking it up. I don't care. I just finished trying to work on Moonfire anyway. It doesn't. Like, it could still tribute and then resolve in Grave, right? Um. It doesn't resolve in the well. It doesn't resolve in the grave, but when uh, it still resolves in the field. But Venus Chain is only affecting Lone Fire when it's on the field. So since it goes to the grave, its cost, its effects will be able to resolve because so it's so, it. so it's not can't. okay. Like it'll work. The point is it'll work, but um, you shouldn't say that it's resolving in the grave because it's not. I don't know how to explain it. So it's tributing itself, and therefore it's on a, it's off of the Phoenix chain, and then it resolves. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That is correct. 
The Phoenix Chain only targets it when it's on the field, so it's effects only needed when the like when it, when it is physically on the field. Um, Shinra. It was called Shinra. Yeah, that's what it was called. Shinra. You would think I would know that. Bye. You're borrowing the car? No. <laughs> oh. I mean, he just reached up and grabbed the keys. Oh, I'm sorry. You know? I'm like, hello? Like, oh, where are you going? I'm like, hello, where the hell are you going? <laughs> it's not your car, dude. Not my car either. All right. Well, look at it. GG. Most likely. Yeah. Yep. That though is is it a, is it a match or? Nope, just one duel. Just one duel. Fine, then we gotta get in our duel in. All right, bear back. There you are. All right, we're back. So we got Ukraine Yamaha here, a thousand thirty nine, and we got Jazz Panda one hundred here at seven sixty five. Wow, we got a Gale, a Gale Dogro, which means. We will be seeing a Herald of Ultimateness summon this turn. Interesting. Probably just be acro, like a solemn warning. Mm. Oh damn, he's using that hat. He he ain't giving up. That one of morale talk. Yep, that one of morale talk. That really hurts. That one of morale talk. Damn, look at Sanctum. <laughs> That price plummeted. What is it? Twelve dollars. <laughs> What's Gale Dogra? Oh, okay. That's not expensive at all. <laughs> this guy's gonna show us that hat is not dead. Gale Dogra has some cool artwork. It's really colorful. It's very colorful. Just like my personality. It is out of date though, card art wise. You could tell. Yeah. Yeah, you know, just like just compared to like Trap Tricks from Ella. <laughs> you know, detail and the shading and the <laughs> I said, dude, you're just gonna get one up, like like this guy opened up the tits. He opened up with with uh a freaking trap trick from Mello and an ass ton of back row. Then he opened up exactly the way that Hat wants to open up. You thought Hat was dead? I don't think so, sir. Well, I mean, he's playing against Harold, so Hat can be bad. I want to see. I want to see this. I hope he has a lot of fairies. Are you going to go and just regular Harold? Yeah, just regular Harold. No, super perfect. No. The Su Super perfect. <laughs> super perfect chocolate. Super perfect. Super perfect. <laughs> What's it? Ultimateness? That's not even a word. Ult I know it's ultimacy, which sounds so much fucking better. Her Herald of ultimacy. That sounds so much better. Herald of ultimateness. <laughs> Cause I mean, it's not a word. <laughs> ultimateness. <laughs> not even an ultra rare. Or not even an ultimate rare. Let me overcharge my laptop. Oh man. So I guess he's just gonna crash and. Like 200, I guess. Is there, a re is there a reason to do that? Mm -mm. Oh, Christia. Christia. Another one? Yeah, he did have two. Add the man you back so we can get the. Uh... That's disgusting. Christia puts ultimate in this. Oh my god. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> it's a lockdown right there. <laughs> Why did Christia go up to three? Because, uh, I guess because Harry stopped being relevant. But it should be, it should not be a three. No. <laughs> oh, shit, we actually agree on something? Well, yeah. Oh, wow, he scooped. Jesus, fuck. Damn, he was just like, I can't be Christia and ultimate -ness, ness You can't bait it out? You can't make him keep on fucking eventually pitching a whole bunch of fairies? I guess you would be running out of resources as well. Damn. Damn. Hat versus ultimateness. That's that's disgusting. You're both sacky. <laughs> you make me want to both throw up. <laughs> maybe he just didn't want to. Like, maybe he just 
maybe it's not that he didn't have the resources to deal with it. Maybe he just didn't want to like spend the time on it. You know, like maybe he just didn't want to spend like the the because it, it would just be boring. You know, because dueling like like against Harold is boring. So maybe, maybe he I just don't didn't want to waste his time. No, right, I'm gonna go ahead and call this an episode of Dundo Commentary. So thank it's a you. Short one. Sounds good to me. Yep. So thank you, Slight, for joining me. Yep. And we will see you guys tomorrow with some more Dundo Commentary. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.